Two, one. I'm just gonna enjoy it. Oh my god, I can't believe this. Yeah, well, man. If you've made this possible, I will thank you for the rest of my life. Hi, guys, and welcome back to Archie Hamilton Racing, where you join me in my Range Rover Sport SVR for what is gonna be a sad day. This is a sad one which I never wanted to come around but it is finally here. The day where I'm saying goodbye to my Lamborghini Huracan. Obviously a lot of you are probably aware I purchased this car roughly a year ago and it really was a dream come true to even own such an amazing car. And then last week I decided that it is finally time, obviously after a year, to put it up for sale. So today the car is heading up to Redline Specialist Cars, the guys who are going to be selling it. I've really loved every single second of getting a chance to own it. It was the best thing ever that I could ever expected. Um, we've had some crazy wraps on it, as always. We've had some amazing trips of it, which you guys have been fully involved with. Obviously, taking it to Monaco is a massive highlight. I've done the full body kit on it, um, which was amazing. The 1016 guys smashed it. I made that car my own. I really did. And it's it's just going to be one of those days where I remember when I was saying goodbye to my Corvette it never felt right when I saw the the owner driving away uh, in the car the new owner and then the R8 when that went on the trailer and that went away I was like oh, it's really not that easy when you spent so much time with a car like that it sounds ridiculous but yeah it's just one of those things so what i'm going to be doing is i'm going to be driving in this car today and i'm going to be collecting also some parts for the car which are going to go with it up to redline so i'm just going to be arriving at malgari automotive and then we're going to have a little look around what's there pick up those parts head to dub customs see the car i'm trying not to cry we are here we are here and they always have amazing cars in this showroom and one car which is actually in the car park which looks very very cool and i do want to show you this because it does look good is a bmw m4 look how cool this looks i think that looks very very good actually to be honest with you with the parts which have been added to this a krapovich exhaust which is uh, as you can see there volsteiner Vol uh, body kit as well and then you have lots of carbon which is all over the back which looks absolutely awesome i think this is so cool look at the wheels how cool they they are as well these uh, very cool aftermarket wheels and then you have carbon which is going all the way down here and then at the front has he got anything on the front oh yeah there we go more carbon and look how low that's running as well that's uh that is a cool bit of kit here we are we are inside here at Mulgari and there are some amazing cars one specifically a GT3 RS obviously a lot of you will know that that is on my radar potentially for my next car GT2 RS but let's have a little walk around but this spec is just perfect and potentially obviously I am looking for one uh, a new car um, and this is a good spec and honestly the ultraviolet is just so cool isn't it stunning with the black wheels the red calipers everything on that just just works doesn't it that just works so well so it could be an option it is definitely an option for when it's gone I will test drive one um, coming up as well and uh, so I can get a proper feel for one on the road and see if that is going to be the next one but one which is certainly out of budget but is a special one is the Porsche GT2 RS which they have here um, and look at it it's just incredible isn't it having the GT3 RS and having the GT2 RS both of them are just totally totally mad this is fully in contention like I say to be my next supercar and then we move to this McLaren here which is a 12C which they've done loads of work to and they ha currently have this for sale uh, by the way and it has aftermarket wheels it has all sorts something like 720 brake horsepower something crazy um, and you have the carbon down the side you can imagine these are like 80 grand you can pick one up for I think this one's up for sort of like 120 and then we have this which is a 675LT we know how good these are and uh, they're just still so cool aren't they one of my favorite McLarens to be honest with you out of budget for myself but very very cool to look at so they also have over here this uh, mini which they've sort of customized as well um, look at that it's just awesome um, it's baller that is just baller so it's time to leave Mulgari Automotive. As always, they're very kind. Showed me around there. Awesome collection, sort of very cool cars, as always. But I'll leave their details down below. If there's anything you need, sort of modifications wise, everything, it's all down below. But what I'm gonna do now, head to Dub Customs and then we're gonna see the Lamborghini and we're gonna say goodbye. And uh, hopefully I'm not gonna cry. But yeah, I've got an hour and a half drive in the SVR. Tunes on and then we'll get there. Hello. Fair enough.
Okay, and I've just arrived at Dub Customs and we are going to see the Lamborghini. We're going to have a little walk around what is here, who is here, and everything else. But obviously, um, yeah, it's going to be obviously the final goodbye to the Lamborghini today. But what we are going to be doing, we're going to be talking about the man behind me, Mr. Stu from F1 Wax. Well, first of all, it's all, it's all uh, black again. It's black. How nice. are you, sir? Very Welcome. Well, actually, how are you doing, mate? Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, thank you for this. My pleasure. That's what we decided to do. We decided before it I sort of had a send off that we were going to let Stu work his magic, the paint whisperer. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, get it back in its pose for you. And so, yeah. the lucky owner has, um, well, best one on the market, hopefully. I know, and that, that, is, that is the thing. Especially with this kit. I've never seen one with that kit on. How good is it looking? That uh, the purple is off it. Yeah, you prefer it to the uh, the purple. Yeah, there we go. You like paint. You like paint. I love paint, but with this car, it's never had. It's never been in a bad guise ever. Whether it's been wrapped or painted, it's always been good. It's probably the best it's ever looked. Now that the purple's off it, I, I like personally like the purple. And did you like the purple, mate? I did like. And from Gad Tuning's there, by the way, everyone. <laughs> yeah, no. I did like the purple, but. Um... Black on black, carbon. Is that, your, is that what you like? That's, that would be the spec, wouldn't it? You were saying, go on, set, tell everyone what you were saying about if you won the lottery. If I won the Euro Millions, I think every car I buy would be black on black on black. Purple on black? Um. <laughs> yeah, what's been happening is Stu has been working his full magic, um, and I don't think we're nearly done, are we yet, Stu? Not yet. It's Not. 10 hours and then we're almost there. 10 hours left, but now you can see that the exposed carbon with the wing uh, works really well with, um, with the original paint. So if you haven't seen this car before in its original paint, this is how it came. Uh, this is obviously the, the original paint. So it does look really, really good. And I think it's obviously like the best it's ever looked now, which is uh, probably the sad part. Um, so we've done this side. Yeah, that side's done on the cutting. So yes. uh, we're gonna start refining. So. Okay taking it down to again where I deem safe. A lot of people have been saying to me, what are you going to be doing with the kit? Well, the car is going to be going with the kit because we thought it's such, it's too nice. It's unique, isn't it's it? It's unique. We like the fact that this, uh, this uh, car it's is everyone, unique. It's every boy's dream, isn't it? Black Lamborghini with body kit. Because now, obviously, all the purple is gone and we have the exposed 1016 carbon bonnet. How insane does it look from here? It does look incredible, doesn't it? Oh, with the front splitter, which is already ridiculous with the carbon, just like that. But now, Stu has been working his magic on the carbon fiber bonnet, the hood, which you call it with the sort of, like the, yeah, that right there. And now look at that shining. It is absolutely incredible. So what's gonna be happening is Mr. Turbo Transport is going to be picking up this car. He's gonna be taking it up to Red Light. So it's going in a transporter. I wouldn't be letting Stu do all this work to it in terms of with the paint and stuff like that, make it all nice and perfect. Uh, poor red line, uh, and then just drive it all the way up there. I don't think that. I don't think that. I think he'd probably be on the phone to me instantly, and he will probably kill me. Um, he'll be but running on, behind you trying to polish. Yeah, he'll be trying to polish it running behind me. But it is very sad because it's, I have had an absolutely awesome time with this car, and a year has flown by in no time. Um, and it's and it's pristine. We will we'll get this car outside before um, I head on my way, and so we can can we see it outside, Stu? Is that all right? Yeah, of course. Uh, and then everyone can get a chance to see it as well. You like you can feel paint, can't you? You can just you just have to listen to it, and respect it, and um, does paint I, I, talk to you? Not all the time, but sometimes. You can feel it. You're you're yeah. a magician. Well, yeah, but you know. <laughs> it's, 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 uh, it's, it's what we He's do. a very he is a magician. He is a magician. It's what we do. Idea. Yeah, there you go. And then this pad just goes nice and gently. Go on then, Stu. Fire up. Fire up the engine. <laughs> Here we go. Look at that. He's the magician. Lovely. Can you hear that? That is what I think it is. The hurricane is coming outside. Listen to that. I wanted to get the car outside. Stu hasn't quite finished uh, what he's doing, um, but I wanted to get it outside. What I wanted to do is do a picture as well with the satin black Range Rover alongside the Hurricane, because that is just, the, oh, it's just coolest photo that I'll just save for the rest of my life and remember these days as it comes out. Look at that, in the all black, come on. What a car it's been. We see here, here it comes. We're gonna park it up, but have a look at that. It is, uh, it's been wicked. How good does the carbon look with uh, 
with the black it's looking absolutely insane so what we're gonna do we will play to music the car sat here as the sun goes down so three two one go Look at that, for the money that they are, they're incredible. They really are, and uh, it's on to the next thing. I mean, now I'm, I look at that, and I look at obviously all your, I look at all your comments, and I just see that there's a lot of love for the racing stuff. Um, so this is one of the reasons that this has gone, um, is because of owning it for a year, and then moving on to bigger and better things with my racing side. Um, I really do want to maximize that. That's a massive sort of thing for me this year. Um, so yeah, track car, we'll see, we'll see what is next uh, around the corner. I put the ideas out there, haven't I, 720S, GT3 RS, you name it. We're gonna have a look, I'm gonna sort of, I think I'm gonna have a couple of weeks to think about just exactly what it is and see your comments as well. Like the last time there's a lot of love for the 720, there's also a lot of love for the GT3 RS uh, and things like that. But it's gonna be a weird one when uh, I wake up tomorrow morning and uh, <laughs> this ain't gonna be here. We'll have a little walk around it before we go. It does look absolutely awesome now. Um, the paint is shining so, so well. Personally, I'm thinking maybe I should have just kept it like that throughout its whole life with the carbon. Uh, down the side and here and we've got the rear wing and the diffuser my number plate is no longer on the car uh, because that's uh, obviously the uh, AH66 number plate which sits on this car is now going on to retention I can't even believe I've even owned a car like that to be honest with you it's uh, it's a bit of a shock um, when I look at it like that and I think that's that's mine well kind of was mine that's a mad thing I never expected to even own a car like this and it's times like this I just want to take it all in and all, yeah I'm, I am sad it, it's it's yeah it's a tough one because you, you want to do something different but you don't want to let something go that you're so passionate about and I've been so passionate about even owning a car like that so you guys have been the biggest supporters of this car as well and um, there will be something else and uh, I hopefully something bigger and better things to come <laughs> we'll see but yeah honestly I can't thank you guys enough for supporting my journey what we're gonna do now is I think we're gonna get the SVR and we're gonna get the hurricane side by side because that's the photo I want. That's the money shot. We've just left the headlights on so we can get that Instagram shot. So look at it there. <laughs> look what we have here. The first time the Lamborghini and the Range Rover are parked up, both with a stealth look. And they do look very cool, don't they, parked up. The Range Rover SVR, obviously the daily driver, um, one which is uh, totally mad and it's sat in black, originally blue. And then before it heads off, We've got the Hurricane alongside it, looking like that. The best it's ever looked. I was adamant the purple's better, but okay, fair enough. You were right. Look at that. Is that not the dream garage? I mean, for me, it has been, it really has been the dream garage to have your Lamborghini supercar right there, which I never thought would ever happen. And then what I also thought would never happen, SVR. So a Range Rover SVR, which I'm going to be driving home back to London in, but to see them both like that is uh, is epic. It really, really is. And it's just, it's unreal. We've left the daytime running lights on, but that is just such a cool garage. And we have to think, what is next to replace it? We have to see. I really am lost for words. I never thought that this would happen. I really didn't. And yeah, I, I am a bit emotional because it's sad. It's been the best time ever I've had with that car and I will miss it so much. And I'll go home tonight and I'll probably just be like, Hoo! but uh, oh, where you go? You're taking it back now. You've had enough time with it. It's time to do the detail. Oh, what's happening is Stu is taking it back in and uh, you're gonna, he's going to finish it off. So he's going to take it back inside. And um, like I say, in the morning, it's going to be off. But we just want, oh, we wanted to do the photos. So for me, it is time to head on my way back to London. I'll round this video off in the car because there's a lot to take in right now. But uh, wow, thank you, thank you, thank you for all the memories. I just can't thank you enough. All the memories are all just coming back. What a time. And now we hunt for the replacement. So actually, I've just nipped out now because I've, you come down here, follow me. Follow down here, we've got uh, Tony's here as well from Turbo Transport. Here he is. What have we got for us then? Let's have a look. Let's have a look then. Here she is. 
Apache's Lamborghini Huracan, so we're quite excited to have this back today. So yeah, looks well. Very clean and detailed as well. That'll be a big thanks to Stu. <laughs> Okay, so I've just got Archie's car back. I'm just going to have to adjust all the steering wheel. Obviously, I've got to push the seat back. <laughs> but yeah, fantastic. Let's get this car sold uh, for Archie and uh, roll on what is going to be Archie's next car. Now, the thing is with Archie, he keeps deciding, should I have something like a GT3 RS, maybe a McLaren 720, and he keeps going around in this circle. The only thing I can promise you, Archie, if I'm honest with you, is that your next car is going to be absolutely and your words, chaos! <laughs> 